welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday at, uh, what time is it? It's 8. 8.30. 30. 8.30. 8.30 Mountain Time, and we show you the junk that we thrifted, and we tell you what we paid for, what we're going to sell it for, and um, we tell you if we're going to, like, make it over and what we're going to do with it. We hope this inspires you guys to find ordinary junk and turn it into great stuff. If you see anything you like, you can purchase it at jrbhome.com or jamierayvintagehome.com. Also, Caitlin's on here to answer your questions and drop links. And when we're all done, we're going to paint some stuff and maybe make some stuff better. Is all of so. this stuff thrifted? Um, so some of it came from Joanne AC, but oh. most of it's thrifted. Joanne brings good stuff. I bought quite a few things. I may have spent $160. On in about In about 30 minutes at my thrift store. So this metal cooler... Oh, sorry. I'm it, is, it is a cooler, a little ice chest, as Jamie's dad would call it, an ice box. An ice box. So it's not actually old, but it's vintage and it's like retro and it has a bottle opener on the side. I think it had a sticker on the front at one point, but otherwise it's pretty good condition and it's like plastic cooler inside. Do you want to show them the inside? Yeah. Easy to clean inside. Everything is listed in the thrift haul collection, which I'm going to head there now because I can never remember what I mark things at, even though I like recently priced this them. This needs some of our lemon oil on it. It's got like residue mm. from a sticker. Yeah, we do actually carry lemon oil on our website and it's great for thrift store tags. Okay, let's see if I can find this right. one there. I'm Hold gonna, on, no. I'm going to move Put it back. though. Put back. Put it like back. Why can I never find stuff on here, Ziv? What did you call it? Oh, well... Ivy names it. Thirty nine ninety five. How much did I pay for it? Did you tell me? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars, which was kind of a lot, but it was a cool um, ice box, and I like that the the handle latches on top and holds the lid down. So this That's is a giant mamma jamma. This is in an umbrella holder that looks that like, looks like an umbrella with fleur de lis on it. It's very French. In case it's raining outside and you just can't find that umbrella that goes in the umbrella holder. Does your, the top... Your, maybe the top of your head could get covered. I feel like you're stretching there. <laughs> the bottom is like... It's cast, is cast iron. iron on the bottom and then this is tin on tin. the top. Yeah. So I like it because the bottom is cast iron because A, it's weapon grade, but B, it doesn't topple over because it's kind of a precarious shape, but it's got a lot of good weight on the bottom. Does the top unscrew? The top does unscrew. So I paid $8 and I am going to sell it for $32.95 and it's going to get a paint job. And if I ship it to you, the top will come uh, painted but unscrewed and inside. I don't know what color, but it'll probably be something with wax because it's got really good detail. I would unscrew this little handle, flip it up, drill a hole in that, and make it like a cool lamp. Just saying. Or you could use it for your umbrellas. Or you could just use it for umbrellas. It doesn't really rain much here. I use an umbrella like twice a year. So it would be for looksies at our house. All right, we got one of those aero globes. Cast iron and metal, not tin. It's like a heavier duty metal than An tin. Aero globe. I think it's called a finial. I don't know. It's a finial. Like, I don't know. Like it's spear finial is what Ivy called it. Spear finial. Spear. Is it a spear or sphere? Because it's a sphere. I was going with spear because of the arrow. <laughs> it also has a little like holder in there, so I'm wondering, could you put a candle in it? Yeah, maybe a little tea light, poke it in the side, light her up. <laughs> Don't up. poke it in lit, you'll burn yourself. Um, I paid how much for that? Five dollars. I'm gonna sell for eighteen ninety five. I'm not gonna do anything for it. It's a good color. It's kind of like a rusty reddish color. Uh, anything for it? I mean, anything with it. I got the Christmas IOD stamps. They came with free masks. So not sure what to do with them. If you search up Iron Orchid Design stamping, the IOD sisters will show you how to use the masks. It's all about layering the stamps, and the masks help you not get like a muddled look. So if you have questions, you can also email, um, what is it? Creative. Customer care oh, at jamierayvintage.com. I was you like, said, I have too many emails. You, you put the creative on there, and I was like, mm, I think that's for business coaching. Yep, yep. And Lolly Lolly's giving the real good information. Let's talk about the bottles. Okay, lots of bottles. So these are like green, nice, thick. They're probably old beer bottles, but I'm guessing that people put juice in them because this one says plum. It says, I want to say it says Grolsch. Gar Golsch? G R O L S C H. 
Hold on, it's on the lid. Say it for me. Hold on, I can't hold. Hermetic lids are tight. It says that. Yeah. $6.95 each. We have two green and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven amber bottles. The, the green ones are, are cool. The amber but... bottles are different. They're munch. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But do they have, these are not like the cheapy plastic. Are they porcelain or are they plastic? I can't tell. Uh, they look to be porcelain. No, this one's plastic. They're like hard plastic, but not the cheap plastic. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, that doesn't ones. mean they're not old. They've been making plastic and rubber for a long time. Long time. If you guys love decorating for the fall, amber's really good, and I actually think the green ones would be cute for Christmas. Yeah, so. this is a fun green. It's a good green. Somebody needs a nap. Let's see some. I need a nap. Who needs a nap? I don't know. Somebody said they needed a nap. Where did my comments go? Oh, I don't know. No, like they went away on my phone. Hold on, just a second. I have to do something that I forgot to do. What did you forget to do? All right, now we're good. Oh, Zeb forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb because he came like straight from the farmhouse. With like four minutes to spare. All right, Hi. bottles over to the side. See, uh, Megan says, hi guys. I was wondering what you think about using pine wood for an outdoor, outdoor project planter. It's fine, just make sure you paint it, treat it, seal it. With and all if you wood, don't, it it'll look good and chippy after a winter yeah. or two, or summer, depending on when you get your rain. Les says, happy birthday, Zeb. Was your birthday good? Oh, thanks, Les. My birthday was good. I got tons of candy. The kids thought it was Halloween, and they got me lots of candy. Sally says Odelia doesn't need a nap because she's young. Odelia likes herself a nap. Odelia's a great napper. She has always been a good napper. She doesn't like to go to sleep at night. But that like dates back to also when she was an infant. Also, you don't like to sleep at night, but Zeb can nap. Oh, it's a skill that you acquire when you stay up too late all the time. <laughs> all right, this jar here was $5. Love the top on it. It's kind of unique with a little ring in there. It's got chippy paint on the top. It's $18.95. It's thick glass. It's heavy. And it has bubbles in the glass. So always Is good it for seated? perfection. Um, I don't know if it's seated. It's just made to look oh, like old there glass. There is some bubbles. Yeah, and the bottom's nice and thick. And what is, there's like a marking right here. What's that? Oh, that's just water. Oh, it's a water stain. <laughs> well, I should be That's a water it. spot. Jean always, uh, Jean always washes the stuff before she sells it. She's awesome. Little birdhouse situation. Oh, that was how much? It was $5. And we're going to sell it for $18.95. Okay. $18.95. How much was this one? This was three dollars, and I'm gonna sell it for nine ninety five. It was originally, back in the day, three ninety nine from Roberts. Three ninety nine from Roberts, but Roberts oh. Craft has been gone for a hot like, minute. Yeah, at, at least like, in our neck of the woods, I have not seen one in a long, it's super long cute. time. I like the detail on the side, the finial on the top, the distressed white paint job, perfect as is. I would say Roberts has been gone from 10 years oh no i would say probably 20. no we I haven't lived here 20 years i used to shop there here at roberts yeah i'm thinking of the one in arizona jean used to work at roberts oh well there you go fun little birdhouse love the little flower designs or sun or whatever you want to call that on top it could even be a snowflake jean says it's close to 20 but i don't think so because I, I, I shopped at roberts i said 22. listen linda christy and i used to shop at roberts 15, Jean says. All right. But 15. it's got to be less than 15 because I've only lived here 13 years. So this is a resin candle holder with flour, but it's had some battle damage. It's going to get painted. And we paid how much for it? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. I would say I probably paid like two bucks. If did I you buy correctly. this or did it come? No, I bought that. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find it on here. Do, 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 do. It even screws out on the top. I don't know. Look, I think it's like you could ditch the broken part and just now it's just architectural salvage. Actually, that's kind of cool. It but is. I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna go back to the live. Is Caitlin on here? She drops the links. She's gonna oh see eight nine ninety five. I was right. Yep, just and look for Caitlin to drop the links. Yumiko super chat five bucks says brought uh -oh. the umbrella stand. It will be fun watching you paint it. I think she's she's like paint it tonight. <laughs> you Mako, do you want Zeb to paint it or me to paint it? Depends. All if you right. want to see Caitlin it get says, done, yes, have Jamie paint it. Up there. 
If you if you want to see it get done, have Jamie paint it. And if you want it to be a fun color, I can paint it. <laughs> All right, let's get to that one. The small jar, it's already sold. We paid two bucks. I $2. sold for $7.95. It's definitely going to need It was a theme. There was a theme on these lids. I don't think I've seen them like this, at least not in a long time. And Yeah, but this one, this is a different style. But yeah, it yeah. could have been. Whoever bought that could buy that, and you could have a set situation. I'm going to set these over to the side. I'm running out of room over here to scooch stuff. Was a very Jamie did not I get a good report from the doctor. She's going to have surgery here pretty quick. I think the surgery is going through. I think that's what the deal was. Yep. But she went for a hike today that she shouldn't have. Mariah. Uh, Les said that Rick, her husband, said that you could be their son. Is it because oh. of his age or because he's so cool? <laughs> so my parents... Um, let's see. I like your parents. They were married for eight years and then they had me. And they are now in their mid to late 60s. So, there you go. My mom had me when she was 43, and now she is 81. So, there you go. All right, horses. You know I love horses. These are bookends, and bookends. they're excellent. They look like marble, but I believe that they are resin. Yep, they are. and I pay, I got these out of the collectibles. They were $10 for the pair, and I'm selling for $29.95, and I'm not painting them because I like the look. They've got some great detail on them, and they do look like they're stone. Yeah. They are awesome. Super Chat uh, says, please say happy birthday to my beautiful wife, Karen. I love you. Fart gun. What? I don't know. Maybe that's fart what... Fart gun must be the husband. Oh. <laughs> happy birthday, fart gun's beautiful wife, Karen. I hope I said that Happy right. birthday, Karen. <laughs> and then Karen gave a Super Chat. Maybe she thinks that Waffles McGoffs is funny. I don't know. Thank you, guys. <laughs> that's hilarious. And Les said both. Because you're cool and because of the age. Oh, well, thank you. And Leslie told Mariah to be good. And Kai likes the horses. The horses are excellent. All right. All Karen, right. It looks like Karen turned 40. Sweet. Ooh, nice. So, okay, I didn't thrift them. You did not thrift But they me. just got loaded on the website and they're so cute. And I was like, I can't wait till Thursday. Can't wait till Thursday to show the little Santa napkins. So these are not in the hall. These are not in the thrift store collection. I have twelve sets of these. They're in the holiday collection. They're two ninety five, and I think there's like probably like ten napkins. But look how oh, cute Santa probably is. Probably a lot. You think there's ten or twelve? I'll count them. You count. keep talking. Okay. Les says my mom looks wonderful. She does, and she will be happy that you said that. She, I have good genetics. I can't complain. There's at least twenty. Come. There's at least twenties. There, you heard it from Sam. <laughs> Yeah, at least. Anna said days. those horses would sell in Florida horse country. You know, horses always sell well. well for yeah, me. it doesn't. I think. Anyways. Equestrian's always, always good. Donna says she loves the napkins. I've been waiting for those napkins for three months, Donna. And they finally came back in stock, and I was super excited. I'm glad that Christmas isn't over. It's not chicken and biscuits. <sighs> it's chicken and baskets. Chicken in a basket. Is good, but it's a broken basket, but I still had to buy it. It's actually a candle holder. It comes with three candles. I don't know if they're really? scented. You could smell them. Oh, those are special. They're wrapped. They smell like they may have had a scent. It's just hint of scent now. Do they have a like a clean scent? Yeah. Yeah, they're not overly scented. But they come free gift with purchase. I'm gonna repaint this because it's got a few chips oh. and it's got chips on the inside, but when it's closed, you can't see no it. No chips. Yeah. $16.95 and it's gonna get painted. And I like the like Primitive kind of farmhousey vibes it's got going on there. I couldn't pass it up. I don't care. Sometimes I don't. There's buy a little things. acorn on the tail. Kai's chickens do so well. It's from Donna Folk, Folkwood Studio. Folkwood. Yeah. Careful how you say that. Donna, we are not getting more headbands like that, but I am looking for more headbands, headbands in general. They sold out very very fast. Well, and I so only saved myself one. It's because you looked cute in it. Oh, I only saved myself one. And by the time I went back to get more, they were sold out. But I am going to look for more headbands. So don't miss out. And if you guys haven't checked it out, everything at JRB Closet is buy two, get two free, which is the best price we've ever had. That sale runs through November 30th, um, which is Cyber Monday. 2020. And this cozy sweatshirt is on there. And we have it in medium to XL. We had one more small and I took it. Chalkboard tin. Chalkboard tin. This is a big one. Oh, you got that for a dollar. That's a good buy. I would have paid at least two fifty. Odelia is uh, cheering for basketball. 
right now? I mean, no. Like I thought basketball season. tryouts weren't until next week. But she's going to be cheering for basketball. Yeah, she it, does. When it happens. And it's fun. I like to watch basketball. Oh, super chat. So the floors look great along with the stair banner. Oh, well, thank you, thank Sally. You. We've been, we've done some filming. We might actually have an edited video on Monday, I think. Maybe Tuesday. I don't know if we've been doing enough filming for that. We'll see. We you have to splice the, it together and throw some music on there. The four-way inspection is on uh, Monday morning at 8.30. Ghosty Light says focus the camera. It's live. It's there's no focus. I could try to wipe the lens, but Oh, it, it could looks, be dusty here. Sque squeaky squeaky. It, it looks, looks pretty good. It looks nice and clear on yours though. Yeah. I'm that's watching that's it. always the test. Yeah, I'll try Well, pros. Tell them about this guys. and I'll try swiping. Okay, so this to me looks like that uranium glass. Is it depression glass? I don't know, but I don't know if it is. So I am not okay, so Watch out. Swiping. Paper towel close up coming. Is it better? I don't know. It's looking a little... It's looking a little better. It's hard to say. Alright, $1.50 and... I don't know, does that look like that um, vintage depression glass? It could be. I can never tell. There's no maker's mark on it. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good shape. It's got arrow on the brim up here. There's two little arrows. It's already sold. I sold it for ten ninety five. Oh, that's a steal. Yeah, it's really cool. I put, now, Ivy called it a, like, pitcher. I called it a creamer because it's kind of small. It could be syrup. You could have vinegar or salad dressing. If you ate salads. I don't know. All right. Okay. We have a collection of small, looks like uh, porcelain or ceramic. Yumiko says, we're clear on the big screen. That's scary that we're on the big screen. I like to think of everybody watching me on a little teeny phone. You need a black light to check it. Okay, oh, so sorry, I had a sneeze. I couldn't fight off. <laughs> these are listed individually. It's all shit. It's cracking me up. <laughs> $3.95 each for these random salt shakers. These are from Joanne AC. I feel like, oh, so these ones are separate. But I feel like you could buy any one of these and make a pair, right? So I'm selling them individually. They are, you know, in pretty good shape. This one is from 1987, made in Taiwan. So this one. Look at the pig. This one. Three ninety five each for is these. Is missing a stopper. Oh, I need to disclose that. I actually think this that, rooster is cool on its own, though. Even if you don't put stuff in there, it looks like it was meant for salt. You know, you shake it out of the back of the head. This one's missing a stopper too, but I think that this little mom and the little baby chicks could go together. Yeah. I mean, does anybody use their decorative ones for? Salt and pepper. I just display mine. We tried to not to, but then you put salt and pepper in them and the kids Oh no, used you it. sneezed. Yeah, I know. It's right? okay. I, I held it in pretty good. It was a pretty quiet sneeze, I thought. I, you know, I worked hard at that. I listed these as random salt and pepper shakers because I don't know what to say. That's funny. Less, you, first of all, less held YouTube's comment for a minute. But she says, when you get older as a woman, when you sneeze, you pee a little. I've heard that when you have a lot of kids, that happens YouTube to you. YouTube held their comment? Yeah, but I, I approved to, it. You had to approve? Um, Anna says probably was pepper. That's why you were sneezing. You know or what? Sawdust. It might be. Um, there's a lot of sawdust going around right now. It's just <laughs> flying everywhere. Janine thought less was coming. I don't know. What did Jean say? That C word is a bad word here. Oh, no. Crap. Not crap, Odelia. The situation word. All right, um, they're on a nice tray. They're on a tray that was thrifted for $6. $6 make you hollow. Okay, so it's metal and wood, and I'm going to sell for $16.95. And I'm going to contain the bottom. It's got like a beadboard like beadboard look board. on the bottom. Jinx. You owe me a Coke. Oh, are you drinking Coke? Nope. Could you buy me a milkshake, though? Yeah. That's just something you say, like, Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Is it? Yeah. Thanks, Caitlin. She just uh, linked my jacket. And uh, the Grave Home Collection, which is uh, Melissa. Melissa. Otherwise known as Monica. <laughs> she says that it is true. She's not wrong. <laughs> we have this lovely basket wreath that's made out of wood and looks like some sort of thick reed. Thick reed. That actually came from Joanne Acey. 
and it's cutesy, has a little ribbon on the bottom, and I have zero clue where it went to. So I paid zero dollars. It was free 99. Free. But I don't know where it's at. Do oh, there we go. It? Yes. You should really just wait for Caitlin. She's already probably got the $12.95. Well, well, I could wait for Caitlin, but you're like so quick with like rotating. Well, if I through. don't show them all this stuff, you got a ton of stuff. There he goes. Now there's the basket. Coughing and sneezing at the same time as the horn. I don't know that I've ever experienced that, but I don't know that I could hold all the stuff inside if I did. Um, well, for you, it might be <laughs> as if you had another thing you needed to do in the bathroom. I wash your underwear. That's just from sweatiness. <laughs> All right. Um, this was from Joanne. I'm going to sell for $6.95. Cute little turned candlestick. And then I love me a good little rusty watering can. I actually think that that would be really cute um, for Christmas, even though it's a watering can. I paid two bucks for it. And Caitlin says there were 51 items tonight. It's a lot of items. This was $2. $2. And it, I like it because it's a watering can, but it has kind of like an oil can spout on it. <laughs> Les obviously didn't like what I was talking about. I got a Jamie with exclamation marks. <laughs> you oh, can't talk the about... The candlestick wasn't six ninety five; it was four ninety five, and it sold. You can't Take talk about that on. at the table. We are at the table. Now, the watering can is ten ninety five. And I yep. paid $2 for it. <laughs> Heidi says she's hopeless. <laughs> She's 50, had a hysterectomy, and had four kids. I would like to say, for the record, that I've had five kids, and I can jump on a trampoline as long as I pee before I get on. I have heard that that is quite the accomplishment. Look so what I'm you like, started, okay. Les. Look what you started. <laughs> oh All gosh. right. Leslie, I'm not repeating that. <laughs> Pyrex. Oh, we're going to okay. move on to the Pyrex. So this Pyrex, I googled it. Okay? It looks special. That's a, that's a I got to take the lid it. off. That looks like a gold leafing. This is early American Pyrex, right? I saw sets of four anywhere from 90 to $100 for sets of four. This is in pretty good shape all the there way around. There are a couple of small imperfections, but otherwise pretty darn good shape. So I normally sell them for $12.95 each. I paid $2 each for them, $1.50 for one of them. Actually, you know what? One was $1.50, the rest were two bucks, and the lady gave them each to me for $1.50, and they have the lids, which apparently is a situation that's good with Pyrex. I don't know. I'm gonna sell the set of four for $49.95. So about half of what I sell them for. So the gold leafing on these ones looks like it's pretty special, but I actually like the white with the, the brown I, on it. I do like them but i figured whoever would buy the early american pyrex is probably a collector so i decided to just keep them together so sometimes pyrex sells super fast for me and sometimes it's a little bit of a delay but when the right person finds it they buy it and i always um put my pyrex at what i feel like is a reasonable price and so people scoop it up sometimes they um resell it on ebay or whatever which is fine all right i'm putting these yeah over you here. don't you don't have to bid for these items. We just price them and you buy them. And if you think it's a great deal, then you want to resell it. That's cool by me. Um, Leslie said, wow, that is a good deal. Thanks. <laughs> Nancy is dying. All right, we got to change the subject. Um, Kai says, I own a lot of things, but I've never owned Pyrex. You know what my favorite Pyrex is? Is I like what's called dishwasher dried, where it's all faded. Because to me, it's like the chippy paint of Pyrex. And apparently in the Pyrex world, if it's dishwasher dried, it's not really valuable. So I can scoop it up cheap. And I love like all the pastel colors and stuff. We have like the fridges, and I eat my cereal out of them and my ice cream. And I do put them in the dishwasher. I want to show you this glow. Oh, somebody, it's your first time here. Welcome. If you haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do thrift hauls, but we also do all kinds of fun stuff like DIYs, farmhouse renovation, all kinds of good stuff. So this is not broken. It looks like it was on purpose like this. No, it's cracked like that on purpose, but there is a chip on the top. Chip on the top. And I noted that in the listing, which I feel like is important. If you guys are resellers, especially if you're selling online, if there's imperfections, make sure you list them, make sure you add extra pictures. Some people understand that used means imperfect, but some people don't. And so I feel like it's best to be really, really clear. Um, I don't know what I, what is the price tag on that? 
Oh, it's two dollars. And I sold it. I'm gonna sell it for sixteen ninety five. I like the bell shape. Yeah, it is cool. It's not, it's not completely uniform. It looks like it was probably hand, hand blown. blown. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. And they did that cool, like this crackle effect is intentional. So that's fun too. We also have this fun little picture. I don't know if you can see the etching on there. I don't know if it's very faint. We have the best faint. people. Everybody's telling somebody welcome. And Jenny's calling it um, crackle glass. And Kai says it looks like um, thick glass. It is. It it's is. crackle glass and it's a cloche. So this is, was $4 and it's got some etching on it. It almost looks like it was engraved in Yumiko there. Yumiko gave a uh, buddy a pro tip. If you like it, don't just put it in your basket. You better buy it. <laughs> it sells fast. <laughs> so vintage Bohemia made in the Czech Republic. Yep. Um, I looked it up and they actually are really collectible. Anything vintage was selling anywhere from 40 some up to $90 a piece. I didn't find that exact one. Um, but I'm going to sell it for $18.95 because I thought that was reasonable and it's got a really fun, did you show them the etched pattern? I tried to show them. I actually, I don't think it's etched. It looks like it was like carved in almost. Well, isn't that what etching is? No, etching is like a chemical. This, I mean, maybe it's etching, but this looks like it was actually like hand done. Well, it's cool. And the, the bottom on this is like this thick and I'm obsessed with thick glass. Somebody says, woohoo, amongst a group of fast women. It's true. People <laughs> and fast men. Occasionally, we have some buyers on here that are men, so they get what they want. <laughs> yep, and uh, Caitlin made a mention, if you buy on Saturday night, as long as it's within 24 hours, we can combine shipping. You can just email info at jamierayventagehome.com, and Caitlin is happy to combine shipping. Odelia's oh, sad. Her favorite oh, sweats have holes in them. Oh. So I don't know if that was $1.50 or $2. Well, maybe it was both, and you probably got it for the lower low price of $1.50. The reality is, I don't know. It's a carved bowl. Now, it's not wood, right? It's, it's like resin. resin. Yeah. So it's, it's not hand carved. It it's may have been cast. carved at one point, and then they turned it into resin. Mold. I'm not planning on painting, but I actually think that this bowl, because of all the detail, would be beautiful painted. So I'm going to sell for $12.95. That way, whoever buys it can enjoy it as is if they're kind of into that vintage mid-century bohemian vibe. Or you can paint it and make it look kind of Frenchy, whatever. Whatever works. This was a $5 seashell pewter bowl. Yep, it is pewter. Ivy put silver, but I don't know that Ivy's had a lot of pewter in her day. Pew, pew. So I am not going to lie. I don't do a ton of like seashell type stuff but I know that we have a ton of followers that are on the ocean that love that like beach look and a, oops a good pewter bowl lasts forever it's definitely weapon grade it's heavy so $16.95 and I paid how much for it did you tell oh five dollars yeah five dollars I actually think this would be really cute on a coffee table it's a good coffee table bowl mm -hmm. you can put apples in it yeah I'm, I'm losing or more now. more real seashells I was just looking at it Oh, and thinking Kai about says, this rooster. Items from the Czech Republic are valuable. Crazy Land Lady buys a lot of it and sells it. Well, there you go. So maybe you could buy and sell and make some money. Anna says this would sell in Florida. Absolutely. I'm selling it for, what did I say, $16.95? But yeah. I feel like in the right market, you could probably get $20 to $30 for a pewter bowl because pewter is a little bit more expensive. So the rooster is sold uh, for $8.95. I like Hazel's idea sand and a candle in the pewter bowl. <gasps> That would be cute. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I paid how much? $2 for we're gonna, this rooster. We're going to paint it, and we sold it for $8.95. This is a paint? I should probably put it over there if it's a yeah, paint. It's a paint. Well, I don't know where to put it. It's a paint. It's already 9 o'clock. I know. we got to hustle. Well, I didn't say I'd paint it tonight. We'll paint it eventually. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so this is a standing frame. It's actually the very first item that I purchased on this thrift haul. And we paid, I think I paid five bucks for it if I remember correctly. That frame is fancy. It is fancy schmancy. I'm not painting it. $14.95. Resin. Resin. It's got a velvet back. It's on a little whatever little thing, stand. situation there. Originally, hold on, wait for it. 20. Hold on. 23. Three, hold on. 95. And I'm gonna sell it for $14.95. And it's basically that's a nine. $23.99. Oh, $23.99. Don't short the four pennies. All right. Okay, next. Jamie always tries to use these, and I'm like, don't. You don't know where it's been. 
<laughs> I sprayed Lysol on it. Okay, so does that mean you're going to use it with your bun? Well, it'll wreck I mean, the bun. It'll wreck the bun. Can I use it on your bald head? No, it scratches my bald head. It's got little thing bobbers on it that help it to not scratch. These are amazing. Have you ever guys ever used? It's like one the of little these? head massager, and they're copper. Um, and it, I'm gonna sell it for nine ninety five. I like anything copper, and if nobody buys it, I don't care because I will totally use it on my. And it's got a really fun wood handle. Here, I will. I will take out the bun. You're gonna go bunless. Well, if I can get my hair tie out. My hair was wet when I put it in here because I was sweaty from the shower. This is why we have lots of broken hair ties on the side of the bed where Jamie sleeps because she gets tired of it and then she does this and they just get thrown. And then it gets like stuck in my hair. And it's hair. usually dark in the middle of the night. And she's I have like, a lot of hair. All right, hold on. And she's like, I'm going <laughs> to demonstrate. All right. Okay. Okay. Go to town. <laughs> Every time I do this, I'm like... It's Put her right to I sleep. Don't, I don't really know why. I'm like, what? Who thought of this? I'm like, someday so, somebody took a bunch of like clothes hangers or something and made an octopus, and they were like, oh, wow, that really is relaxing. I don't know, but $9.95, it can be yours. If it's not yours, it's gonna be mine, and I'm not gonna be sad. This is a really fun little brass container. I... Somebody says sold out. <laughs> J Caitlin says that it was beautiful and graceful. You know me. My middle name is Grace. Beautiful and graceful. You guys are going to get a hair tutorial too. So that came from Joanne AC. Joanne did a good job with this one. This is a fun little brass tin. How much are we selling it for? $8.95. It looks like it was handmade. I think it'd be a good Christmas present. Because check out the back. It's like a little bit of tarnished brass. Definitely bohemian vibe. Like for a teenage daughter who likes, or granddaughter who loves um, bohemian style. Odelia is always trying to get me to give her those, so I'll probably should buy her one. All right, there you go. And that is how the messy bun, did I do it good? I tried to do it in the... Yeah. But looks... reality, I don't need to see myself. I could do it in my sleep. Looks good. Okay. Odelia's like, ooh, <laughs> she likes it. This tin has stuff in it. There's a lot of stuff in this tin. Did you know that? Yes. It comes with stuff. You should dump it out so people can see it. It was a two dollar tin. I'm gonna use this flower basket bowl. It's got all kinds of tiny little ornaments in it. You get part of the fun. Oh, is, look at that. Part of the fun is that you get to untangle it. Untangle the tinsel. If you had a cute little Christmas tree, like some cute grandma had this vintage tin, which I think is really darling. It's like a grandma angel because she got white hair. And she put all of her little mini Christmas ornaments in it. It's $11.95. does come with stuff inside. I feel like I'd probably sell it for $11.95. I'll see ornaments so they're free gift with purchase. So yeah, don't hold your are, breath. These I are mean, just a... Oh, there's little guys! There's little guys? Oh, they're little angel cherubs. Oh, those are cute. And they're in a bag, so maybe they're... And they have, they have, uh, they're, they're for ornaments. They've got little strings that are with them. Thanks, Lori. She says I look pretty with my hair down. I like my hair down, but I don't live a hair down lifestyle. I'm a part-time construction worker. She, she tried that the other day because she was hot with her hair. And are the ornaments glass? No. No. Well, I don't know what's this. Actually... These might yeah, be. they are glass. These little ones, yes. That's like a little baby glass ornament. Yeah, they are glass. A so not all of them, though. Some of them are like the old vintage, like the string ones. Mm -hmm. Brass is in an East Indian cricket box. An East Indian cricket box. Caitlin oh. is the personal shopper for the family. It's true. She just bought a laptop for the shop. She's like, hey, I found this sweet deal on a laptop. She, bought, she does a lot of my Black Friday shopping. <laughs> I'm like, this is what I need. And you're very good at shopping. Yeah, like, since you're going to be there There's anyway. There's satin and plastic, the other balls. So while we're on uh, the subject of mini, that's this like a little mini basket. Tiny little basket. I like the wooden knob and the top are on there. A tisket, a tasket, a little mini basket. Let's see if I can find it. It looks like it may have been, I'm not sure. It was. It's like a planter or something. It's got a little plastic planter cup in there. $6.95 is what I sold it for. I'm pretty sure that came from Joanne. I don't remember buying it, but I could have bought it, but I think it came from Joanne. 
warning, do not use an automatic dishwasher oh, or as a toy. Oh, Grandma wants the hair scratcher. Okay, hold on. Let me see if it's still available. Oh, it is. All right, Mom. You didn't get that. She wanted that. Uh, what's uh, that she, called? It was the cast iron cat, was it? Yeah, the door shop. So I'll put this to the side for my mom. It's called the Head Trip. Happy's Head Trip from the Happy Company, made with love in China. <laughs> That's actually funny. I've, a lot, I've seen a lot of stickers that say made in China, but never made in love. All right, this came made from, with love made in with China. Love. That came from Joanne AC. It's a cute little metal tin, and then it's got a bell on it. Like, I've never seen that. What kind it's, of, it's got a good little tinkle to it. What would you use that for? Um, I don't know. Skipping. It's a skipping basket. Uh, why does everything go back to skipping? That bell is kind of loud and obnoxious. I don't know. I got around real quick skipping some days when I was a kid. I didn't do I a lot like, of skipping. It actually sold I was sold like, look, I can jump high and go fast. It's kind of like running backwards. Skipping is just great. Is the basket along the burger? Where's the basket? The it's, little basket? No. Oh, I don't know. There's no... It's brown. It's a brown burger. Yeah. I gotta move this over here so it'll Angela stop. Angela says... Jan and Freckles, I bet it is. And now I'm going to have to look up Longa Burger. Okay, here. I'm going to pass some stuff to you. Okay. Show them. Let's get back to stuff I know. Baskets, I don't know. Tiered trays, I do know. They sell really well. They're good for displays. If you have a booth, pick up all the tiered trays you can. Because if you have jewelry or little smalls, they're super cute in there. I paid $3 for this one. It's like a chippy teal. I think the top does not unscrew. So Christy's going to have to ship this all in one piece like super sturdy yeah it's welded together it's got a little bit of rust and chippy situation happening and it's already sold i sold it for 24.95 okay this is my favorite thing the mirror I'm gonna find a little chip up here i'm gonna paint it it's gonna get painted pretty sure i'm gonna paint it the original the original full price was 164.95 and i paid this many dollars for it five million five dollars and i'm gonna sell it for 79.95 and i'm gonna paint it Oh, it has a couple little chips in it. Yeah, I need to put will be painted. It looks like it's, um, I want to say resin, but I think it's like a plaster. A plaster. Yeah. It's really cool, and it's got like the aged effect in the mirror. Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to show you, so you could see the mirror there. Yep. I used to sell Longa Burger. It's not stamped. Anita says we're too much for them. But, Zeb, do you skip still? Uh, oh, Joanne gave it to me, and it is a long burger. I do still skip. Is a long burger like a big burger that's long? I don't know. Here's the thing. A big burger that's long. I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, look under the lid. What does it say? It's a longer burger. <laughs> Longa Burger Woodcrafts, established in Dresden, Ohio, USA. Yeah, I did add that the mirror would be painted because I realized I hadn't put it in and it needs to be painted. So the hanging basket already sold for $10.95. I don't buy like a ton of baskets, but when they're flat like this, I buy them because people love to hang them and I paid $2 for it. And it doesn't come with what's inside, but I'm going to show you what's inside. These, These came from Joanne. So we did it. So Cookie cute cutters. enough, it came. Joanne's gave these to me, but with also some plastic ones. Lion. And I gave all the plastic ones to Ivy, because Ivy has little kids and they've been making Play-Doh. So Ivy kept nice. the plastic ones, and I'm gonna sell these for $19.95 for all of them. And copper is super hot right now, so some of these are like this copper colored. Rabbit. Some of them are just like old tin ones. Did Lots we get a Christmas. picture of these individually? Oh, you got a little we angel. Just, um, Ivy just took a picture of the whole lot. Do you need some angel cookies? We got you. I just need cookies. Oh, somebody bought the shell bowl. Somebody likes shells. Or they have... I think sometimes people shop from us and they resell the shell, the stuff, too. And the Bohemia Edged Glass Face sold. Tiny little, tiny little snowman. Look how little that guy is. How is that snowman again? Tiny little snowman. I can't even show it good. It's so small. Look at that. I'm try oh, this must be Santa with his pouch. I was like, what is that? It looks like a sunken airplane. Do you ship to Canada? 
If you email info at jamierayvintagehome.com, Caitlin can get you um, shipping info. But our website is not automatically set up to ship internationally for these types of items. Look at this little star. Can you see it? <laughs> Wendy says she thinks that we're silly tired. And Veronica says uh, the cookie cutters are awesome. There's, I mean, there might be some validity to that. I'm not feeling, I don't feel silly. I'm just, you know. You're regular silly? I'm regular silly. What is long burger? Like, are they just like a it, really? It sounds like a name. Well, it's like I someone's know, last name. but is it like, is it like a well-made basket? It looks well-made. You know what? I feel like I do this Saturday night thrift haul because I don't know that much about stuff. So I try to, you know. Honestly, unless it was going to be worth thousands of dollars, we really are just like, man, yeah, whatever. <laughs> as long as people can We're going to sell it. it for what we would normally sell it for. Okay, $5, and I am selling this for $12.95, and I'm not painting it because it's fun, just the way that it is. It or is it could good. be painted. I actually did paint one just like this for Kelly, and she loves it. I bet if Kelly sees this, she's going to want it. Can, go with her other can one. it be a weapon? Can it be a weapon? I don't know. Just kidding. It's wood, so I would it might it break. like this. Oh, that is probably the best option for that one. All right, so I'm super excited about these ones. These are a whole set. I don't know how many there are. I, I would say $3. these are ornaments. They're like... They are ornaments. They're, they are cookie cutters, but they're ready to be ornaments. Somebody turn them into ornaments, and there's like these little rolling pins. Oh, look at these tiny Some little guys. Some of them have hot glue on them, but you could easily get those off. But the little rolling pins, look I guess... Look at his tiny little gingerbread arms. So cute. Mostly I just love the mini rolling pins. And $19.95 for the set, and I paid three bucks for them. Never underestimate the bags at the thrift store, because they have like lots of stuff in the bags. Lots and lots of goodies. Can we talk about this Dreams with Flowers? Lisa said that this is only medium weapon grade. Medium. And every single one I get is always slightly crooked. Like the one Kelly has is slightly crooked too. Oh, a longer burger basket. We average fifty to two hundred dollars. That's too small to be that much. I don't think that one was. Maybe a big basket. Odelia says that looks like a gravestone. Odelia, somebody bought that. It does look like a headstone. It, I see where you're at, Odelia. It's gonna get but painted. I think someone painted it gray because there's a butterfly and a ladybug on these flowers. No, I think that painted I'm, right. I think that it doesn't look like that. I don't. I think that's what color it came. I'm gonna sell for fourteen ninety five. It's gonna be painted. I thought it was cute. It is cute. I actually think it needs a fun color, like French millinery. Uh, can you paint the ladybug and the butterflies separate, though? I mean, you can do whatever you want. All right. So, so last year, Rhonda bought uh, someone's collection of Lonsberger baskets for $300. She picked out the one she wanted and sold the others for her $300 investment. Um, Rhonda, that's Jamie math. I do that all the time. I'm like, look, if I buy this for this price, I can keep what I want and sell the rest and get my money back, and then I get what I want for free. Smart. All right. What's in here? Were oh, these... those are ramekins, and they're made in France, and they came from Joanne. Set and of four. Set of four, and we have two sets available, and they're $14.95 for the set of four. Oh, that's a very festive color. Yeah, aren't they cute? I think they're all red. Oh, they're from Williams Sonoma. They're fancy. Porcelain Apilco, France. Yeah, they're made in France and from Williams Sonoma. These ones have number seven on them. Yep, these two. They're like little crocs. They're crocs. It says porcelain though. Porcelain Apilco, France. They're cute. I like them. They don't sell them, and they'll go to the farmhouse, and I'll make you little. Pop pies I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever seen ramekin spelled. And I was trying to read this. I'm like, <laughs> ramekin? I'm like, ramekin? Ramekin? And then you're like, ramekins. I'm like, oh, those are for food. <laughs> yes. I like those wooden bowls. I didn't think the name of them. Let's see. In the 90s, I crafted tie ons for baskets and made a killing at craft fairs. So, she, did you like make little things you could add to baskets? Is that what you mean, right? All right, I think I've shown them everything on my side, but this, and I'm going to start clearing off so we can be prepared for crafts. All so right. Tell them I, about the stuff. So, I am always looking for good. Um, let me find this on here. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. So, it's like, I think you're tired. I'm like, no, I think I'm confused. This is already sold. I'm always looking for good greenery. I paid $2 for this and I sold it for $8.95. And here's the reason why. 
I have a hard time finding greenery wholesale. Like this would be like $12 wholesale. I'm like, I'm not selling that for $24. So I find good stuff while I'm thrifting and then I can sell it and make a good deal. And if it doesn't sell right away, this kind of stuff is going to be popular come January when everybody wants to make their booth look springy. So don't underestimate the power of greenery. All right. What else do we got? The, oh, 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 hold on. It's fine. Wrong. Did you throw in that tarnished silver pitcher? Yes, but I'm trying to find it on here. There we go. All right, I paid $15 for this out of the collectibles, and I'm going to sell it for $24.95. Not a huge markup, but this is nice and heavy. It's got good feet, and these silver pitchers sell fast. So I will pay anywhere from $10 to $15 for them and sell them for about $24. All right, we talked about that one, talked about that one, sold that <gasps> These, Heather saw these, and she, Heather is Mike's wife, in case you didn't know. Um, she saw these and she was like, what? I had to dig down low, look at this. They're huge. Was she thrifting there with you today? She did, and she gave me something too. Not today, yesterday. I paid $4 each for these. They're kind of like, they're ridged, almost like a pickle jar. And they have lids on them with the little bumpy on the top. The detail is everything with them. And I got them for $4 each, which is a steal. And I'm going to sell, well, let's see, that one's sold. Let me see if I can find, sorry guys, I gotta find it on here. What happens when I have 51 things is I cannot find them. Do, 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 do. Large jar. All right, one sold already, $36.95. So this is one of those things. I paid $4 for it. I'm selling for $36.95. But I love to buy thrifted these kinds of items because if I was going to buy this wholesale, I would probably have to sell it for like $40, $45, maybe $50. So always look for big glass with lids. They sell well. All right, even those aside, we do have one of these left, even though there were two. Ginormous. Mamma Jamma Candlestick from Joanne AC. When I say ginormous, I mean it doesn't fit in the camera all at the same time. Here, I'll pan it. Definitely needs a paint job. Definitely going to get a paint job. It fits in the camera. $22.95. There you go. And it's got like, is this, what is that? Tin. 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 All the way through. So this will be really great to be painted. Okay. I've got this one, it's like the silver bucket. I don't know what it had in it initially. See those little ridges there? I don't know. It says it was made in India. It's a holiday entertaining bucket. I think it's really cute. I paid $2 for it. And I'm selling it for, wait for it. Wait for it. Why can I not find anything? I need you here for like comic relief. Well, I look for stuff. $16.95. <laughs> I like the little dots around the edge with the knobbies. What is that? Make it is, oh, maybe that's what it is. Had something that slipped in the side here, probably a lid. But lid's gone. All right. Jean ships whenever whenever Christy does whatever Christy doesn't want to. It is true. All right. Did I'm you a show them the star? Ninja. No. Oh, these came from Joanne. What are these? Oh, fun little... Uh, they're like seed. little... Uh, they're like for your seeds. No, they're like for hanging oh. on the wall, but they're mini. I don't know. Do you put them in a... Like, what is those called? Little dollhouse? Maybe. I don't know. They came from Joanne. I thought they were super, super cute. And little tiny herb buckets. Six ninety five for the set of four. Because they're baby. They all, say, oh, they all say lavender, except yeah, for two of them are missing in the little tags. Thirteen ninety five for the star on a stand. I paid three bucks for it. It retailed fifteen fifty originally. Somebody gave it a distressed white paint job. I'm not repainting it because it they good. broke. Don't fix it. They did real good. They done good. All right, let's see if I can find this. Is actually one of my favorite items. Super detailed finial there. It's gonna be twenty two ninety five when it's painted. It's gorgeous, kind of French inspired. How much did I pay for that one? Four dollars. Four dollars. And then we've got these two red canisters. They were $2 each. They're metal with a glass lid and they've got a little bit of chips on them, but not bad. I like the sparkly on here. It's got like a- You like the sparkles? It's got like a metallic- I'm gonna sell for $22.95 for the set. And the glass and metal. They sit really tight. And last but not least, this came from Joanne AC. Let's see if I can find him. 
$6.95 for that cute little candle. Santa sells really well for me. Is that it? Did we get through everything? That's like a tree bark Phew! It's nine twenty one. Let's start candle picking. Santa. All right, what are you, bring the stuff back. Oh, you didn't show them this. I forgot this one. We're going to paint this and add a knob to it and it came from Joanne. She actually did a really good job. It looks like it's already been stamped. It has, but it needs a knob. There's a knob in there. Is that what I heard rattling around? Oh, it has a knob. It needs a screw for the knob. Oh, no, it's really. Thank you! Your sneeze Thank was goodness. not stealthy. <laughs> Thank goodness for big sweatshirts. $16.95. It will get painted. I think it's cute as is, but it's a little bit dusty, so I thought I'd give it some freshening up. So let's freshen up. You gonna paint that? Yep. Okay, I will go get some paint. paints. I'm gonna paint this rooster. I'm gonna paint this. Oh! You How got... come I forgot what Heather let me have? Oh. Did she have that so, in her cart? And she's like, here, you have this. She did. She, I, she, I saw her pick it up, and I loved it. And she was like, you can have it. So I paid $7 for it. And I'm going to sell it for, wait for it. It's ginormous, so Christy will love shipping this one. She's actually really good at it. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, small fence trellis. And I'm gonna sell for $49.95 and it already sold. Ta -da -da. It's got hanging hardware on the back. And originally was like $70. It's got hanging hardware on the back and it's got chippy paint on the front. So there you go. It's cutesy. This one's going over here. I'm actually surprised Heather gave that one up. It was good. Zeb's going to get paint. We gotta paint this situation. And I don't know how Yumiko wanted it. How Yumiko should want me or Zeb to paint it. We're gonna paint that. Anything we don't paint tonight, we always wind up painting over the next week. And all the products you see us use, we get and sell at JanuaryVintage.com. Look, the brush so holder also works for January stencils. Vintage. Also, and stamps. Christmas stamps. All right, what paint we got? Jean did a good job washing all these. What paint do you want? I don't know. I can't make decisions. What are you painting? The this, box? This, and you're painting that. Oh, okay. I'm going to get back to comments. Sorry, guys. Uh, did you pee? I did not pee when I sneezed, but thank you, Les, for the vote of confidence. Uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Zeb, Yumiko wants you to paint that. Okay, so she wants a fun color. Apparently. Is that what she's trying to tell me? Okay, what color did you get me? So I just got you some gravel road because I thought that that would look really good with like a dark wax on the details with the light gray. All right, I could do gravel road. I'm going to take my turquoise iris assistant here. All right. I'm going to go select a color for this. Caitlin I'll be right back. Blue iris. Oh, Caitlin forgot. Uh, no, sorry. Caitlin didn't forget. Caitlin is reminding me because I forgot our subscription boxes are back up at jrvhome.com. We do not have pictures of the craft kit yet. I have but to make it. Zeb has to make it. So it's going to be a couple weeks. But we put it up because I know a lot of people are having people buy their stuff for Christmas. And I was like, hey, we can't miss out on that vote. So if you're interested in a subscription box and you did not sign up last time, make sure you hit up jrvhome.com. So that way you can sign up because we only leave them open about a month at a time. Um, and then by the time January hits, we close it to give us time to make them. We have the craft box, we have a thrifted box, home decor box, a clothing box, a bath and beauty. And I have to have time to like procure all the items I put in the boxes. So and last time we waited till the very last minute to like fill them all and took forever. So I'm not doing that again. <laughs> yes, Leslie, if you signed up for a subscription box last time, you will be automatically billed the first week in January and I will ship one to you. So it's only for people that had not signed up the first time. All right, I'm painting this in gravel road. The Zeb thought it would look good distressed back, and I agree with him on that one. Sometimes when I'm painting little items, I like to use the turquoise iris brushes because they're little. It makes it easier. All right. If you sign up for a different box, Lolly, if you wanted to cancel and sign up for a different box, you'd have to cancel and re-sign up. Or you could just sign up for a different box and get two boxes. We, I'm not going to say who, but there's many people that get multiple subscription boxes from us. 
And the favorites, I think, last time were the craft box and the thrifted boxes. Yumiko, if you don't like blues, stop me now. I don't necessarily take custom requests. Oh, we got the camera Nancy way. Nancy wants even something see painted in Monet's garden one day. I will I will consider your request, Nancy. I, I will try to get some find stuff something. And we painted a whole door in Monet's garden. We did paint a whole door in it. All right. So I've got blue iris, mermaid tail, and I've got some bohemian blue out. And I was going to put this on here and then bring this back out. Some of the... Uh, Kind of the colors on here. Is black velvet more black than little black dress? It is um, not. It is lighter. So Waiting. little black dress is the blackest black, and black velvet is kind of you know how black velvet is like a really dark gray black. That's what color black velvet is. Waiting. She loves these colors. We're good to go. All right. All right. There might be some blending and some mixing because um, I'm just going to use one brush to apply them, but I'm not going to pre-mix them down here and we'll see what we end up with. I don't know if somebody bought this or not. This looks like Joanne put it together because she put an IOD mold on the front of it. It's cute. Okay, we're sick. going straight with the Bohemian Blue. Very nice, rich color. I, it's like wanting to be a navy, but it's got some green tones to it. So the nice thing about DIY paint is it's all natural, it's clay based, it covers just about everything and you can do it inside. So if it's winter time, you can't go out to the garage to paint and you want to paint without dying, then... Uh, <laughs> paint without dying. Well, you know, of asphyxiation. Gotcha. DIY paint's good. Oh, I forgot to take the sticker off. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so sometimes things are sold before we get to this point, but you can always check jrvhome.com. You'd be surprised at what things are still available. And sometimes we have things from previous thrift hauls that we haven't moved out of the thrift haul collection. If we don't paint it while we're live, we will get it painted in the next week and shipped out. Every Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday-ish, I come to the shop and I paint what we didn't finish. And sometimes Jean helps. Jean helped paint a bunch of stuff apothecary and white wax it and she did a good job. Zeb and I have been a little busy at the farmhouse. <laughs> a lot of busy. A lot of busy. We figured out how to do the stairs after a little bit of a debate on the... Uh, Was it a debate? We were just trying to work it out. Well, the, uh, the upstairs one going up the stairs on how they should turn at the top and, and be a guardrail at the top because we have a walkway over to three bedrooms, well, two bedrooms and a playroom and the laundry room. Oh, somebody got right themselves the a stairs. subscription box now that they're back open again. All right. Ooh, woot. And this is covering really well on this metal. Kayla says there's still 34 items, so not all, not even half have sold. Oh, yeah. Months, so that's pretty good. Usually It'd be something what? for the people that watch in the morning. That's right. Lots of people watch us on Sunday. Well, because we go like live at 8.30 so that the kids are in bed during the school year. It used to be because the kids were much smaller and little. Now they're pretty chill and like they don't, they wouldn't come in crying or making any noise or well, whatever. We used to go live from our house and we're planning on going live from the farmhouse once we move. Yeah. Once we get back, we'll start doing kitchen lives again. Oh, my um, phone is like... Okay. Um, I am continue gonna... your story, sorry. What was I talking about? I don't know. Was it the banister? Oh, the banister! That's it. That was that was the whole story. We just we just couldn't figure out how we wanted it to turn around. And I was wanting to put two posts, and Jamie's like, don't you dare put two posts. I did not say don't you dare. Don't, don't embellish the story. Your eyes said don't you dare. What you interpret my eyes to say are two different things. This little turquoise iris assistant is really working out for me. Alright, little mermaid tail on the floor de lis. Lolly says, I'd like to get the thrift box to see what I put in it. It's pretty fun. And if I know you, I really do try to like find things that I think you'll like. Like if you get a thrift box, if I have something orange, girl, you're gonna get it. 
You're going to get so much orange. I don't buy a lot of orange because it's Sky Ridge Oops. and that's our rivalries color. And you know it's, I'm big on... It's the rival school in I'm Beehive. big on football. And, and I'm not the only one like that because... Les, I want you to see I painted the back of that just for you. Um, Zeb was, I was sending him shoes because the man needs shoes. And I'm tired of people telling me, buy that man some shoes. But he's picky. So I sent him links to New Balance. And I was like, I thought you might like these. I like the New Balance because they're wide. And she's like, they look like old guy's shoes. I'm like, I, I fall, I'm almost about to fall into that category my soon. My story was that they were brown and orange, which when we were in high school, he would have loved those. But oh, yeah. because... Sky Ridge is orange. Oh, uh, this, this was my work. exact words to her. Uh, she's like, these are brown and orange. Do you want them? I'm like, ooh, I love that combo. But Sky Ridge kind of ruined it. <laughs> we have serious situation issues with high school football around here. You know what? I have a lot of people that live up in that area and their kids go the to that school. The is popping. You know what you I need? really Popper. love. How much are the thrift boxes? I don't know. You have to ask Caitlin. Well, so I wasn't going to put... The first go around, they were... Sorry. I wasn't going to put copper on here because it's kind of like a coppery oh, color anyway. It come through. Yeah. I like it. What was I going to say? Talking about the subscription oh, boxes. Oh, they were $49.95 the first time, but they were supposed to be $69.95? I thought it was $50. $69.95, but Caitlin forgot. So everybody who got the thrift box the first go around is going to forever get the best deal, but we fixed it this time. Because we, we lost our shirts a little bit on the shipping. Jamie because, puts a lot of value in there for you. Well, and some of the stuff is not necessarily small. So with eight ninety five shipping, uh, oops, that's all right. Because I like to thrift. So it works out in the end. Am I cooking Sunday breakfast for Zeb? Well, yes. I don't normally. Zeb does. But it was his birthday. Oh, am I getting birthday week? Yeah, we celebrate birthdays mostly on Sunday because it's like the one day we don't work. I did, however, on my birthday, I did not get cake for like a week. Zeb got cake on his birthday. By him. I bought him the flavor I like. All right, Yumiko, because you're on live watching me paint this, I'm debating whether to paint the inside or not. Are you actually going to be putting umbrellas in here? Like Do you, you want shouldn't. the copper? To come through because I think it's dusty but the copper actually looks really good in there and then we can clean up this rim. Um, I might paint up here to match. But I was thinking of leaving the inside and these rungs the copper color. The umbrella stand looks really good that color. Okay so this is funny your sister Barbara is on here. Barbara. She says Tannen constantly complains about my story embellishments must be a family trait. It's from dad. Oh my gosh, your dad and his embellishments. You know who else embellishes stories? Who am I going to say? Debbie Beard. Debbie Beard. Now, I'm not saying she's not a good storyteller. She does a really good job but she of embellishing really, them. Really, she, if, it's not that she it's not that she's them. A, she, yeah, tells a, she tells her she, stories she with little, great vigor. Yes, that's what it is. Sometimes <laughs> they're a little more dramatic in the retail. And the, 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 maybe, maybe that's just her perception of the story. It was really like that for her. I don't know. Debbie, okay. don't hate us. We still love All her. right. So these, I didn't paint these super clean, right? Yumiko wants the inside painted. On the, okay, we'll do it. I on think the, we'll have to wait, though, until it dries. Because it'll on be On the mess. fleur de lis, I didn't... I'm going to get them a little wet with this water girl here. We'll run a little bit of that uh, mermaid tail down. Channing, um, if you want to order the thrift box, you just go to jrvhome.com and click the subscription box. Okay. Or Caitlin posted a link. I'm gonna spray the tip of the brush because I got. We're not we're not running quite as much as I wanted to. And the thrift boxes, nothing comes painted. Just so you know, you get it you get it thrifted. There we go. Now I'm getting. The well, I shouldn't say that. Sometimes I paint it. There we go. That's looking better. Kayla says my husband gives lots of unnecessary details when he tells a story. It's definitely something. <laughs> I, I love all the unnecessary details. I feel like you, you do good. I try, I try to eliminate some details, but sometimes I'm like, yeah, that needs to be in there so you get the full context of the story. It really depends on how tired I am, how long it takes me to spit it out, but normally I'm pretty fast. Jamie doesn't even read like all the little words in books. Like when she's reading, she skips two and the... Um, all those kind of words. She doesn't even read them. She be skips the right same over them. Story, and I'm done twice as fast. It's funny though. I was thinking what you just said, Zeb. I was just thinking 
You know, I tell stories like I read, mm -hmm. and then you just said that. I feel like we spend a lot of time together. Yeah, we, we do a fair amount. This chicken is already much improved. I like him gray. It's very fancy. There are a couple women in Tucson who do flip off Fridays and compete for the best thrift flip. That's fun. Seb and I used to go thrifting together, but the farmhouse has kind of ruined that, so I go thrifting. But it is kind of nice to go thrifting and not have to answer for my thrift purchases. <laughs> it's like taking the prison warden in. Every now and then she comes and I'm like, why'd you get this? <laughs> it's true. But sometimes I question your purchases, but I let you get it if you really want it. Because right. we're thrifting. It's not like we're spending our lifetime savings. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna try to get my brush a little drier now. And we'll just kind of hit the tops of these fleur de lis to, with some mermaid tail to bring some more of that brighter blue. Is social back. media like Facebook and stuff? Yeah, social media is Facebook, Instagram. Uh, I'm on TikTok. I feel like YouTube almost counts. YouTube is definitely social media. It's any time of, type of media that's social. <laughs> I have Twitter. I've been tweeting. I've been wanting to say something witty when I tweet, but I haven't had time to come up with something witty yet. I thought you had to be a sportscaster to use Twitter. Um, you can be Jamie Or, Ray or a Instagram. news broadcaster. Pinterest is social media. I do have a rock and Pinterest page. All right. All right. Oh, hey, geez. why did you say all right? Because you said all right. I feel like it was at the same time. All right. We're... <laughs> I'm just hosing this you down You owe me so here. many Cokes right now for all the jinxes. Zeb is going to paint the inside. I'm going. Later. Are you going to do it now? Yeah, I'm just going to do it. I guess if you get it all over your shirt, your shirt's blue. Here, I'll kind of tip that up so you can see what I've been doing. And all these colors are blending down. So with TikTokers the water. for the twits like kids. <laughs> My TikToks are funny, okay? I have one with a couple thousand views with me painting the door. All right. So. Uh, Boho blue is the best, Donna says. It is good. Don't put things to the edge, Jamie. You know what happens. I've got a good inch. And I don't think this one's sold yet. This one's going to look good when I wet distress it because all that metallic paint is going to come through. The current paint job is not great. Just on the inside here, we're just doing like a fun blend of all these colors together that I have on the mat. Thanks, Channing. She said you checked out the website. Sometimes we stencil and we IOD on the live videos, and sometimes we just paint. You know, paint can change a lot of things and make them... This wasn't bad. Like, the color on it wasn't bad. It's kind of had like a copper vibe going. Sometimes you just need to like change something up and look how fun this is now. Um, the color was not great. It, will, it was trying to be copper, but it had like some brown, like someone had brown waxed it almost. It's way better. And you know what? I like the color because it's almost like melting. Like if you have chalk, like chalk art or whatever on the sidewalk and it rains and it kind of blends together. That's what it reminds me of. Like Mary, Marie, Marie Poppins. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait for Sunday. I'm gonna sleep in. I'm gonna make you some breakfast. I'm gonna have second breakfast. I'm gonna take a nap. Maybe do some laundry, do maybe some, not. We didn't do laundry last week, but it's- It's worked birthday. out this week. <laughs> no, we didn't. My mom- I have not gone naked. My parents live with us. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but my parents live with us, and my mom does my laundry a lot. Bless her heart. Um, or the kids, the kids help rotate it. But anyway, she always puts it on my bed in hopes that we're going to hang it up. And I'm like, Mom, when I get home after working all day at like 9 o'clock at night, I'm probably not going to hang it up. I'm like, just put it in the clean pile in the corner. Laundry got voted off the island at 9 o'clock at if night. If something has to go because we're working on the farmhouse and remodeling it, laundry's going to be it. But... It is clean, and usually on Sunday, we'll sit and watch TV and put it up. I was worried that this was going to be difficult to paint, 
But this I... metal is taking this DIY paint like Was a it tramp. like a porous metal? Sometimes the metal's too shiny and no, it's just too No, I think it's the faux finish that's on here. It's oh, it's like just, textured? It, yeah, it's not textured. It's just wasn't shiny. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice thing about DIY paint too is that you can wet distress it and bring back the detail. You can't wet distress latex or things that are spray painted, so don't try. We get that email quite often. I painted this and it didn't wet distress, and we're like, what'd you paint it with? And they're like, wall paint or spray paint. I'm like, no, it has to be water soluble. Which many chalk and mineral clay based paints, milk paints are. Do you guys like this better gray? Let me know. Odelia says Mary Poppins was one of her favorites as a kid. It is such a good movie. I love that movie. I just like it's one of the musicals you'll actually watch. Yeah, because they talk in it. They don't just sing. When a musical is all music, and the music's not annoying. Like who doesn't like chim chimney chim chimney chim chim shree? I mean, it's just fun. Donna says that Gravel Road is good. I agree. Gravel Road is kind of boring on its own, but when I when this dries and I wet the stress and bring back the metallic, it will no longer be boring. It's I feel like it's more unifying. It makes things that are kind of crazy a little bit more subdued. And you made something that was a little bit boring, a little bit crazy, and I like it. Yeah, it's got it's got some good vibrant color now. I thought you were gonna say it has good vibes. I'm like, who are you? Good vibes. I know. Just chilling. Vibes is something teenagers say. Like, I'm vibing with that. Is it? I feel like you just dated yourself by saying that. Like, no, I don't, I don't I think you're allowed to say that. Christy's daughter Allie says that. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to oh, say I'm that. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that. You want? Nobody's the boss of me. It's true. All right, Yumiko. Painted. Oh, Julia oh, says some vibing. on the top. See? She says, yeah, I know. I'm cooler. And, and some of this may wear off on the top anyway, just because the handle is a little shinier. It's so shiny. All right, where's that heat gun? Okay. Heat gun situation. I think when we're all done and this is dry, some clear wax. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of We'll see about difference. getting a picture of this in uh, stories or possibly on uh, If we community. don't take a picture of it, maybe you can call, pull it, put it in Facebook. Yeah, maybe she'll put it in the group. Leslie loves it. I love it too. It's good. So what colors did you use? So I used Bohemian Blue, mostly Bohemian Blue. I used some Blue Iris down towards the base. And then the Mermaid Tail I used on the Fleur de Lis and uh, squirted them with the water girl to kind of blend that a little more. Oh, will I sign it and date it? Oh yeah, I can. Super chat. Thank Thanks, you, Yumiko. Yumiko. I would have done it without the super chat, but I appreciate that. Gene, if you're watching this, don't let Christy shoot it. Well, I'll, maybe you can dry it while I'm putting, yeah, I'll, while I'll I'm doing it. payroll and then we can I can say did I just that. sing Moana? I sure did. Ironically, I don't like that movie. Don't hate me for saying it. I love it's Moana. I love, I love all the songs in it. I can't watch it because I fall asleep every time. You're lost. I know. I'm weird. Can you give me a wet paper towel? I want to show them wet distressing. Yep. And I know those of you that are like regulars on here are like, Jamie, I've seen you wet distress a million times. But the miracle of wet distressing is fun every time. Les says, add some gold to so this one. This one is gold, and that one is actually copper underneath. It dries lighter, but then it gets dark when you wax it. I tried to not get too much blue on the... <laughs> it's all over my oh, hands. Oh, did you use the water bottle? I did. I the used water the water girl. girl on it. That's good. Because it's got a little bit of drippy, so it's like... Yep, it's, it's running rain. a little bit, blending. It's fun. It was a fun paint. Everybody likes Moana. I like it. One. I watch it. I watch all the Disney's with the kids. Yeah, Zeb is actually much better at watching Disney movies. I'm like a one and done. Here's the thing. I love animated shows. Sky's the limit. You can do anything with animation. Just wherever your imagination can take you. Sci-fi animation. 
Actually, what if they made a sci-fi musical? I'd watch it. My favorite, favorite animated movie uh, from when I was a kid is Sword in the Stone. You know, ever since I watched that movie, I wanted to be a bird and a squirrel. Oh, Julia said that would be cool. I never wanted to be the fish. No. I was all right with that. Oh, Jean the fish. says she won't be here. All right. Well, it's okay, Jean. We won't finish it until you get here. How about that? <laughs> we'll wait for you, Jean. We'll wait for Jean. So I'm just kidding. Zeb, Zeb's going to sign it tonight. After we get done being live, Zeb does payroll and puts the ads in. So, I'm almost there. I'm living in a prayer. Oh, I saw a spot. You saw a spot? Yeah. There's a little light on paint up here. I don't know why this paint's taking so long to dry. I must have put it on thicker than I thought. So to seal this, we we'll probably clear wax it. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. And when we clear wax it, because I sprayed it, it does have a little, a few thin spots because I sprayed it with the water girl. Um, some of that original color will probably come back through. Do you want through. me to wet distress it or no? No, I wouldn't wet distress it. I mean, unless she wants it wet distress. It'll get distressed over time. But yeah, it'll right, it'll get it's it's got some already coming through. It's hard to see on camera because it's not dry. Turning this off and then it keeps turning. All right, wet off. distress that, and we'll tell them good night. Okay. I still got to go finish a floor. Oh, that's what, you're gonna go do that tonight? Yeah, I gotta finish patching that in. You mean to help you? If you want to come hang out, it's not. It's kind of a one-person job. When you go do payroll, I'll get some some treats or something, and then I'll meet you back at farmhouse. I like it. All right, I'm almost done, guys. I'm gonna show it to you up close. I'm just wet distressing off. Wait, did I miss something? Is it Yumiko's birthday? Maybe it is. She says somebody says happy birthday, Yumiko. So it must be. Well, well happy be birthday. Birthdays are fun. Deb says he doesn't really care if I celebrate his birthday because they're not a big deal to him. But I feel like birthdays are a really good excuse to remind somebody how much you care about them and that you're glad they were born. So here's the thing. I on should my, remind you every On my day. birthdays, I always had to be in school because I was always playing basketball during birthday season. During birthday season? Yep. Yeah. I was always playing basketball. So I was at school anyway. And then after I got out of high school... Uh, grade school and high school and was no longer playing basketball during birthday season. Uh, I usually just worked it because it was like winter snow rush during birthday season. We sold tires and now we work yeah. because we have this farmhouse we got to get finished. Yeah. Next year, taking birthdays off. Oh, we are. You didn't really get this very wet, so it's taking I think me. I've maybe taken three birthdays off my entire life, except for when I was a kid, you know. When you're a kid, you get a pass. Yeah, Harrington always had football on his birthday, so I would bring donuts for the whole team. Which, when you get to high school, it's like 100 kids because they all practice together. JV, varsity, sophomore. Yeah, it was like an event to get donuts for the team. It's all right. Give teenage boys donuts, you will win them over every time. <laughs> that is my secret. Sorry, guys. Zeb didn't get this super wet, so it's... I wrung it out too much? Yeah, it's taking a hot minute to... All right, there you go. Can you guys see the detail come back through this one? I still think this needs some dark wax or white wax maybe. I don't know what you think. White wax, dark wax. I think dark wax. So I think I'm gonna probably clear wax and white, dark yeah, wax. Yeah, show them close. Sorry, you got longer arms. Thanks Donna, she says this looks good. I think so too. I think that the metallic was pretty, but it was a little much and it's a lot more sophisticated with the it's very subtle. Room. So hit up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products, jrvhome.com for the buy to get to free clothes sale and subscription boxes. And you can check out the Saturday Night Thrift Haul Collection to see what is left. If there's anything you're interested in, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Marie Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us and supporting us.